In today's video, I showed everything that was added in the latest update of Brookhaven. First thing, you're gonna be able to see it right away. They have a whole new banner. As you can see, there's a guy using a bunch of hacker tech in his computer. This guy has got to be dangerous. And if you look at the game's art as well, you'll be able to see that the person that's there is the creator of the game, Wolfpack. As we get into this game, we can already have a look at the change log. Apparently, we already got a whole new hacker RP set house. We can also now pop wheelies on motorcycles. Ain't that cool? I'm on a public server right now. And if you look at every plot, there's someone using the new RP set they just launched. Wait a minute. There's a place here called the Hacker House. So, could this person actually be a real Roblox hacker? Wait, then it's gotta be this guy right here. Oh gosh, who are you? Are you some sort of hacker? Yes, I am. I guess you made it obvious. With your whole avatar being full of numbers, you look like a super villain. Come here. Where is this guy even gonna take me? This is suspicious. He's taking me to the new Brookhaven RP set. Whoa, there's a whole elevator here. All right, so what now? Please just explain why you are taking me inside. What do you want to show me? What's all this? It's my lair. So is here where all the hackers hide themselves? I didn't know about that. This is so crazy. And it's not just computers. There's a whole house in here. There's one more guy in here. I think those two may be brothers. They kind of look like each other. What do you want? I'm the actual hacker here. He's a liar. Whoa, guys. So who's the real hacker here? Which of you will it be? Now both of them are claiming to be the real hacker. How am I supposed to know who's real? Oh, yeah. Show me a hack of yours. All right. I'm very curious about what he's gonna do to prove himself. Let's see. He's clapping his hands and then just doing a backflip? Done. I'm a hacker. That's just a game feature. <laughs> You're right. He's literally just doing an emote. Anyone can do that. I already know he's not real. But what about you? What can you do to show me? Wait a minute. What's going on? The house literally started burning up so quickly. It's so bizarre. And that's the only size of it that started burning. Why doesn't it come to this side? Looks like he can make fire appear out of nowhere. Ha ha ha. So there we have it. There's one one hacker over here and a faker right in front of them. A farce. Now eliminate him. I want to see it. I bet this guy has to be able to do that, right? Wait, you're using one of those? You can't do that. Wait, did it work? He's just standing there. Whoa, he vanished. Let me get this straight. You don't need to do any of that to me. I already know your strength. I'm totally with you on this. Want to see anything else? Ha ha ha. Let's just go to someone else's home. This one seems interesting. Wait, do they have a billboard written? I'm not a hacker. Totally not suspicious at all. And they have a playhouse? What's that doing over there? Who's this guy? Hello. What do you want? What are you doing with that computer over there? None of your business. Whoa, dude. That's so rude. I just wanted to know. You shouldn't invade a place like this. Whoa. You don't have to do anything. I'm going away. Please don't do anything. That's right. That guy is crazy crazy. Beyond just being so damn rude, he's aggressive as well. He's for sure hiding something. I can bet on it. What's he doing? He opened up a secret passage beneath that road. I can't believe it. Now I know for sure that he's hiding something from us. This is a job for Detective Nando. Let's try to get into their place before he can see us. Let's just go down from here. I know there's a passage over here that takes me to the elevator. There's also a little girl. What are you doing in here? Apparently, this is just a garage. That's all it can be used for, since there's there's nothing at all down here. I guess he must have gone down below. Just click this button and wait. What's in here? Whoa! What even is this place? It's all so colorful. RGB and everything. Now who's this guy on the computer? Hey, who are you? I'm Detective Nando, and I'm here to see what your evil plan is. Evil plan? I don't have an evil plan. Of course you have one. Look at this whole secret lair you got going on. You better tell me everything, or I'm calling the cops. No, please don't call them. We don't need to get them involved in this. So Go ahead and show me everything. If you explain this all to me, I ain't gonna say anything. Looks like he's taking us through. What are all these glowing things? These are all the Brookhaven servers where I can control everything and everyone. Wait, what do you even mean by that? Are you able to get to their accounts? There's even a living room. This is a zone to relax, do some personal stuff. True. Sometimes it's just good to sit down and watch Netflix. Now what's our next stop? Is that a toilet? Here I do some things you don't need to know. What are you even talking about? Oh, it's actually just the bathroom. There's also a little secret. Really? It isn't just... Whoa! What's that? He got a whole secret room. This is actually so cool. This is a gigantic setup. I don't even know what it can hack. Right here is where I hack Wolfpack. I used it to control everything. The most important room. Damn, dude. This is all so crazy. Just continue with your whole tour. There's still a lot that you didn't show me. Right? This place has to be a lot bigger than that. This is where I sleep. To be honest, I mostly used it once every year. I use all my type to control 
control others, so I don't really get much sleep. You gotta think better about your life choices. Being a hacker seems tiring, but your bed does seem really comfy. This whole place is really cool as well. This is where I locate everything. Here's your tracking map, I imagine. You can even see my state from here. This is crazy! Do you need anything? We have expired milk and dark chocolate. No! Why would I want any of that? This seems pretty cool, but what does this button do? Whoa! It's on fire! Dude! I didn't know! I swear! I can't put it out! Put that out already. I'm so sorry, dude. I just clicked your light switch. That was so weird. Apparently, there's secret passages in here. Wait a minute! Hey, you can't get in there. Of course I can. I already did it, dude. This place is so dark. Let me grab myself a flashlight just to see anything. It's way bigger than I thought. It's like a labyrinth or something. Wait, it's literally a passage straight back to his couch? Get out of there. What are you trying to hide? I told you to tell me everything or I'm getting the police involved. Stop entering my house without permission. I showed you everything. Of course you did. Let me go have a little look into here then. There's gotta be a secret place around here somewhere. He's for sure not happy I'm here. But it's so hard to find any new place when everywhere looks the same. What about inside some of these walls? Can that be it? Wait! I actually bugged out. I'm literally stuck inside the floor. Some technical problems happened. I'm not even sure how I did that. There you are. I was just looking into your secret corridors. They're really big. That's it for today. You saw everything. Alright, dude. I'll finally leave you alone. He hides such a mysterious place. It doesn't even make sense. Another thing we got in this update is related to motorcycles. Some time ago, I made this video on the channel that told you a way to do a bug to pop a wheelie in Brookhaven. But this update actually lets us do that same thing without any bugs. You just have to spawn in any motorcycle like this one, the one most people use in the game. And on the setting that you use to change the speed of it, you'll find a new icon with someone popping a wheelie. As soon as we click it, we'll actually be able to do one as well. Ain't that cool? It's something that we did some videos ago without all that complication. Whoa, Nando. How do you do that? I wanna learn. This is just a feature of the new update, dude. Didn't you know about it? Not really. I didn't. First, you need to get yourself a bike, but not that one. That's mine. Look at the one he got. Is it a premium one or something? Now what do I do? Just use the same settings we used to change the speed and you'll see the button to do it. Dude, look at him go. It's even on fire now. Be careful. It's gonna burn. Let me try and help you. Maybe it'll work. Is it impossible to put it out? He's even zooming around out of control. Whoa. Recently, we got a brand new update in Brookhaven. That gave us this whole new house as well as a way to pop wheelies. But where actually is the safe inside of the new place? Don't worry as in today's video, we'll be showing you exactly where that elusive safe is. Beyond that, I also trolled a bunch of players by being a big spider. So please watch it until the end and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Steal 10 safes from the new house and I'll give you 100,000 Robux. Whoa, are you kidding? All of that? Just do it as fast as possible. Starting now. Of course, you don't have to worry. I'll get right to it. Here we are. This is the brand new house, right? Just need to go downstairs and into this room. Then just blow it up right here and there we go. That was actually so easy to grab. We can just continue forward to our next. Oh, wait. This is not the new house, dummy. I'm talking about the hacker one. Oh, yeah. That's what you're talking about. I think I got my updates mixed up. Let's see if anyone's using it right now. We do need to hope they are. Oh, thank gosh. This is the new house. I'm not sure why they have that restricted area sign, though. What are they even doing there? I don't know. I'll just make my way in anyway. This will only be the first of the ten we need. Right here just looks like a regular garage for vehicles. Even with this transparent floor, there's nothing down there. Seems like we got an elevator over here. So let's just continue down into it. Whoa! What's going on? Apparently, this is a danger zone? They even barricaded it so no one could get into it. I don't care, though. I'll grab my hammer and break these down. Now we're into it. But wait, who's that guy over there? Is he just clapping in front of a fire? What's even the meaning of that? The place is really dirty as well. Full of dirt and debris. Like it's been abandoned for a while now. Wait, I think he's coming our way now. What do you want, dude? I'll even get a flashlight. It's hard to see anything. What are you doing here? Didn't you read the sign? I did, but I didn't care much for it. I need to do a challenge. What kind of challenge? Like Mr. Beast? Well, kind of like that, actually. Someone offered 100,000 Robux if I stole 10 safes of this type of house. All right, we do have a little problem, though. I don't know where the safe is. That's true. I actually got in here without even knowing where I can even find one of these. But we are still in a hacker house. Look at all these computers. I hope they aren't hacking Roblox or Brookhaven. It's really cool. Imagine living in an underground house or bunker of sorts. Wait, what are you doing? Just grabbing a cold coat? 
Yeah, is there a problem? You don't need to be like that. Let me just turn the lights on. Whoa, what's that? Dude, it just started burning out of nowhere. What did you do? I don't know, but I'll try to put it out. I promise. That's crazy. How did this even happen? Wait, is this a secret passage? This place has such big secret corridors. And I just went to another side of it. Okay, then. Dude, did you know about the secret passage behind the microwave? I don't know anything about that. I've been living here for a long, long time. All right, at least we can leave the microwave burning. It must not even work. But with all these labyrinthine corridors, they gotta hide the same somewhere around here. Let's just look for it then. There's gotta be somewhere we can find it. There's ladders in here. It feels so much like we're walking in circles, though. It's so weird. Now, where even am I? This place is full of holes. There's one beside the couch. Another one up here. This is all so crazy. How will I ever find the safe in here? I found something different. Look at this blue light. Could this be the clue that we were looking for? Maybe if I click on one of these walls, it'll do something. There's gotta be some sort of secret button around here, right? Let's even try with the notebook. Sometimes this thing helps out. It already showed a connected message. Will anything happen? Even the screen saver changed, but it still didn't do anything. I also just realized that we are actually in some sort of labyrinth, as you can see with this camera bug I just did. So maybe if we get inside the walls, we can find a new secret place. For that, we'll of course need the sleeping bag. We just need to find a place that's further from the house for this to work. Maybe beside this ladder? So can this do anything? Oh, I actually found another corridor. I'm not sure if I'm in the right place. This is just another dead end. Let's use our flashlight and explore around. Is this a new location? Whoa, I actually found the safe. I can't believe it. We just gotta blow it up the first of many safes. Look at all this money. We've finally stolen our first safe. Now how do I get out of here? I didn't think about that still. Maybe just using the same bed will work? Nice, it actually worked. Then we just need to go through this wall and we're out. Hey, you stole my safe. Yeah, dude, I actually found it in the end. Whoa, what's going on? Dude, I think both the microwave and that barrel started a fire inside the whole house. Sorry to say it, but your house is done for. We gotta get out of here. Just run. We can make it out. We actually escaped. You probably should just give me the money since you destroyed my whole house. That's not even a problem, dude. Even that girl gave you a bit already. But here you go. I hope you can get a better place soon. Thank you. Wait, is she also giving him a sack full of money? Now you can literally buy yourself a whole mansion with all that money. Whoa, I'm so damn happy. Since we finally know where the safe is, we can just find another house of these. I just found this one that is actually pretty well hidden. It's even in the middle of the mountain. That millionaire guy is also coming over here. Hey, there's still nine safes left. You need to be fast. You'll only be getting 50,000 Robux now. Whoa, wait a minute. You're actually just slicing half of it because I took too long? We gotta make this fast then. We can't lose on all those Robux. I really want all those. That many Robux is still so damn much. Just found another one of these. The owner also just got into it, so we need to be careful to not get banned before finding their safe. There's also a girl over here, but since she isn't the owner, we can steal it together. Whoa! Who's this? Oh no! He actually banned me! He even banned the girl that was with me! Damn! Dude! Why did you ban me? I didn't do anything! I never gave you permission. I was actually just wanting to show you a secret. Don't be like that. Oh! He actually unbanned me! Come. Alright, take me to your house! I think the most interesting part is how old this guy is. Apparently he's 200 years old. Now that he let us, we can finally get into his house and steal his safe. It's even possible that he doesn't even know where it is as well. Let's just go into these tunnels and zoom out to see if he'll even be able to find me right here. He's literally right there. And he totally doesn't know at all where I am. He even went back to the elevator. So now is our time to shine and steal that old man's safe. Just place it over here and walk down this one. Then just place the C4 for and blow it to smithereens. With that, we just got our second safe. The owner of this house probably hates me now. He's probably gonna ban me. He's also trying to disguise the house as a little village with all these houses and such. Making sure no one knows that there's an entrance to a secret bunker down here. There's the money I stole from you old man. I don't need it. All I needed was to steal your safe. I don't want to trouble you. Dude! He still banned me. That guy did this two times already. But at least we got the job done. This is our next victim. I think this girl is new to the game. So she for sure doesn't know where it is. She also locked her doors. Guess we'll take the shopping 
shrink bag approach. Then shrink us down a bit and make our way into her home. Let's just see what she's doing. I can't find her anywhere. Is she even at her own house? I don't know. All I know is that we're gonna steal that safe. Go up the ladders and over on this corner. Place the sleeping bag to go to the other side. And done! Wait! What happened? This is so weird. I can see everything that's beneath the map. I think I'm stuck in here. I gotta debug myself. How am I supposed to do that though? Oh good. I found a way. We're already in the corridor. Let's grab the C4. And now we have her money. Since we're here, I'll try out just placing a bed over here. Wait! I didn't want this to happen. Let's find another place. Wait a minute. They have a literal helicopter right here. Sorry to say it, but I just stole your flying boy. This will make it a lot easier to find the house we need. Looks like there's some people building their homes over there. This person is about to build their own. There we go. But sadly, it isn't what I'm looking for. I guess these players really aren't interested in the new house right now. This doesn't make sense to me. Wait, what happened to my helicopter? Hey, cutie. Why is he calling me that? Oh, wait. I forgot I was using this avatar. I'm a boy, dude. Look at this. Hopefully he got the message in the end. There's some signs. They are in need of workers. Apparently they're building at house 18. Let's go over and see if it's the one we're looking for. And that for sure isn't it. There's actually one right beside it though. That's pretty nice. Let's just go ahead as fast as possible. We can't waste any time. Just go into the corridors and do our little bug. And there we go. We stole their safe. The next safe I'll be stealing in a different way. Which means that I'm gonna turn into a spider and do that. Maybe if I'm a little spider, that'll work better. Everyone's gonna be scared of being bitten, so they gotta be careful. Alright, looks like we got one right here. You need to find the owner of this house. Wait, what are they even talking about? Has the owner disappeared or something like that? I really don't know. Let's just go into it. So where's that owner? Is he actually hidden over here? No one seems to be living here. I can't find them at all. Guess it's our opportunity to steal their safe easily then. Put the bed right here. And there we go. Another safe in the pocket. Found another house. Even if it isn't of the update, they're looking for a daughter. I'm asking myself if they want to adopt a little spider like me. I don't know about that. I'll just make myself in and see if anyone's home. Apparently not. How are you gonna adopt someone then? I think that's the owner. Finally, please adopt me. Okay. I actually didn't think it would be this easy. She actually adopted a little spider. Are you not afraid of me? I'm literally a giant spider in your house. Not really. Well, okay oh. then. You're a pretty nice lady. But I still have a mission to do. There's safes to be stolen. After a whole while just stealing safe after safe. Now with all those safes in our pocket, we can talk to our millionaire friend again. Hey millionaire dude, I finally stole all of your safes. Who even are you? Oh yeah, sorry. I forgot I was a spider. I'm Nando. Oh, it's you. You took too long a time. You ain't getting any Robux anymore. Come on dude. I didn't take that much time. Just so you don't cry, I'll leave you one Robux. Brookhaven has been updated and I'm gonna show you every new secret from this new update. The first secret is that all of the Easter update vehicles have now been completely removed. The ones from the hunt and all those egg-shaped cars can't be accessed anymore. So sadly, there's no way at all to use those cars for the time being. But that's a seasonal event. Every year we'll get new Easter cars like before. Whoever's watching didn't leave a like and subscribe to the channel. You heard our bacon buddy. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel for lots more. The first secret will of course be in the new Brookhaven RP house. Inside this place we can go down this elevator. Whoa! What's going on? This house is on fire. How did something like that even happen? Okay, I think we gotta call the fire department. This is important. Come over here guys. Please follow me. The fire is down here. He already got his hose ready. Awesome. Is that hose gonna be able to go all the way down there? It's literally underground. It doesn't look like it could come with us. I told you guys. But here it is, Mr. Firefighter. Everything is on fire. Please just put it out. Thank gosh. He actually is getting it all out. I hope nothing burns. Wait, if he's using a fire extinguisher, couldn't I just have done this myself? I have one already. Get out fire. He's even trying to put out the microwave fire. This thing doesn't even work anymore. It's fully destroyed. Maybe if we click the light switch again? Whoa, that actually works. Thank you, Mr. Firefighter, sir. This guy did a great job. Our house isn't even on fire anymore. So as I was saying, this house has a secret that most people don't know about. To do that, we'll need both the ladder and the sleeping bag. Right on this other ladder's direction, we can place the sleeping bag right here. As you lie down on it, you'll be able to see beneath Brookhaven's map. It's quite a secret place most people don't see. Just look at the ground over there. I've never seen that platform over there. Maybe we can even go to it some way. But first, we can explore 
explore this little pocket outside the house with our ladder right over there. Now we need to jump onto it. We'll need to be really careful about it. Any wrong jump would be fatal. Wait a minute. Who's that guy down there? Is it a bacon hair? He's even saying something. Help me. Help. Bacon needs our help. Did he get himself stuck over there? Just calm down, Bacon. I'm gonna help you with all this. Just let me take my time getting to you. All right. This one's last, and now we can see him. I'm even asking myself, how did he even get in here? Get me out of here. You'll need to wait for a little bit, Bacon. It's kind of impossible to just take you out like that. Actually, maybe if I come over with a helicopter, we'll be able to help him out of this complicated space. But that's practically the secret we got in here. Also, these two rectangles here, like some sort of doors. What would happen if I placed the bed outside and now? Whoa! This is crazy! We're actually back at the hacker house. Let's focus, though. We need to save our bacon friend. For that, we'll need to go to the police station and grab their helicopter right quick. We can just fly up to the end of the map, which is where we'll go beneath the map to save bacon. Just need to go down and here we are. Still need to find the house from down here. There's tons of things around. If I'm not mistaken, that's where you'd be if you were on the plane. That big black cube is actually the cinema. Where's our house? We need to find him already. Oh, there's our friend. Just wait a minute, bacon. I'm gonna place it right in front of you so you won't fall to the void. All right, we're right below you. Is this actually gonna work? I'm scared. Of course it will. You can trust me. He's gonna count it down. Three, two, one, go. Dude, you actually made it in. That was actually so cool. Now we can finally get out of here. Where was that platform we found before? Can we land this boy over here? It worked. I can't believe this platform is actually functional. This is so awesome. I think so too, Bacon. And thank you for the flashlight. It'll help. Now, where would these walls take us? I'm really not sure. Maybe it'll just take us to the back rooms. I don't think that would even be possible, dude. I bet we won't go into these walls and end up in the back rooms. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Here's the actual place we ended up. On the tunnel right next to one of the neighborhoods. Right next to our house as well. We can continue on to our next secret, which is actually down here at the hacker house. It's this blue car right here. It can actually do a little secret right over in this bathroom. Even if it looks like a regular bathroom where we can wash our hands or use the toilet. But not just that. We can use the card on this scanner. And we'll now be right inside this incredible hacker room. This is a lot more hidden than the others. Probably for a master hacker of sorts. There's still computers in other places, but none like that one. Wait, who's this guy invading my house? Get over here! Go away! Poor little guy got banned. See you later! So now you know the secret of the hacker house's blue card. But did you know that this isn't the only secret card in the game? The other one is actually on the police station, over at the cells. Jump into the vents, and then go into this secret passage. It takes us to this weird blue room, with a picture of an FBI agent that disappeared away while ago. This white stick, as well as something that's a bit more hidden. We'll find the blue card behind this cabinet. It's a card just like the one on the hacker house, but with another color. And just like the last one, it can actually do something. It's a secret you'll find close to Lake Madison, right next to the solar panels. Whenever you take the card to this cabinet's door will open up. You actually aren't able to get in without it. The light blue card doesn't do anything here. In here, there's also somewhere we can input a password, which will actually be your in-game nickname. Password word approved. There's also two levers that we can turn on or off. That's basically what I can show you. But those aren't all the secret cards we have in the game. There's another one, but it's a lot more obscure than the rest. To do that, we need to go over to the barn. Then we need to go next to this scarecrow. Now, wait a minute. Is this a farmer? Hey! Don't mind me. I'm just here to do a Brookhaven secret. Is that okay? Of course. But it depends. What do you need to do? All I'm gonna need is a shovel of yours in this exact spot. I won't mess with your farm. I'm out of shovels. You're gonna have to do it axe style. Dude, I need a shovel for this one. An axe won't do. I can get one for you. Just wait a minute. Yes, he's going to grab one for us. I need it fast, though. I want to get this card already. We'll basically start digging in that exact spot and see it coming out as we do. Even a secret animal will show up for us. Where's that farmer? He's taking so long. Oh, there we go. I knew you could do it. Here's the shovel. Thank you a lot, dude. That helps a ton. Whoa, 
Your car is smoking up. Is everything good? I need to fix it up. My horse got on top of it. Yes, that makes sense. Good luck with the repairs. We can finally do the secret now. Here's how it goes. All we need to do is dig down here at 6 a.m. in Brookhaven. Right now it's 3 p.m. so we'll have to wait for a bit. Now it's 6 a.m. so our digging will finally do something. It may look odd, but just give it some time. Whoa, it got dark. Yeah, dude. I used my powers to do that. Wait, powers? Don't worry about it. Just do the secret with me. You'll see how weird it'll be. Let's just keep digging. Whoa, how did it start burning out of nowhere? Oh, gosh. Wait a minute. I'm getting a fire extinguisher. Put it out. It's all right, dude. I dealt with it. Now we need to keep digging. We don't have time to waste. It's already 7 a.m. And I just heard that crow sound it's doing now. That's a secret Brookhaven sound that I bet you never heard about. Oh, the crow. It's a secret animal. There's a legend that says that when it appears, weird stuff start happening. It's just a legend. Don't worry. I'm getting out of here. Wait, really? You're just gonna leave me out here? That guy is apparently a scaredy cat. So guess we'll be doing this alone. The crow is getting even closer to us now. Whenever the secret works, we'll have a new card in our inventory. So just be aware of that. Whoa! The crow is right there. Look at him at the top of the fence. And finally, the secret worked out. We finally opened the hole and everything. Wait, what are you doing? Don't mess with the crow. He's a friend. That guy's crazy. At least we got the card at the end. What even is that card? It's one of the secret cards. I also have both the dark blue and light blue one as well. I'm literally the king of secrets. Now I'm interested. Can I go with you? Of course you can. Just don't get in my way. All right, I won't. Now we can finally go back to the new hacker house and see if any of them do anything else there. It'll be a nice way to see if they do something cool. He named his horse Chubascruto. I can't even understand that. Now where are we? This is the update's new house. Just come with me. There's ton of secrets to find here. Just look at all these computers and hacking equipment. Damn, I never saw this in the city. You probably live closer to the countryside. You probably don't know much about the updates. Whoa, dude! Stop axing up my stuff. Remember that you also got me an axe. Stop doing that. Oh, sorry. I didn't think it could break. That's not even a good excuse. Is he cleaning it up? Dude! Don't throw water on the computers. You're gonna wreck them. Please just calm down and sit idly for a bit. Here, come to the couch and watch some TV. Let me see if there's anything interesting for you. What could it be? I think you'd like Survivor. You're probably... Dude! What are you doing? Give me my juice. This isn't for any juice. It's just some soda cans. Here you go. Done! Now please just sit down at the couch. I'm sure you'd like Survivor. Trust me. Since we finally got him occupied, we can finally test these three cards. Maybe the dark blue card will do something at these servers? That would make sense to me. I'm trying my best, swiping it everywhere in case it does anything. Can it open the secret door? No, not even a little bit. What about another place? Could it actually do something? Please just do something. Wait, what's the farmer doing with my TV? You're breaking it, dude. Stop that. Are you crazy? I'm fixing it. It was broken. Dude, it isn't broken at all. The pictures weren't moving. That's just how TVs are in here. You really don't have to fix it at all. Here, just grab my phone over here. You can do lots of things with it. Play games, watch YouTube videos, just have fun. Now we can go back to trying these cards out. I'm hoping they do something, but it really feels like I'm wrong about that. I basically touched every part of this house. Our farmer friend looks like he's having fun though. Good for him. Since the blue one didn't do much, let's try the green one. I hope it does something. This one was the hardest to get. Apparently it also doesn't open the hacker room door. What about any of these walls? That would be pretty nice. They really aren't doing anything. Are they? I think this was a loss cause sadly. Wait, is he just recording a video for YouTube or Instagram? Hey guys, this is Farmer Place showing you guys the new hacker house. Look at him having fun showing around the house. I'm just not sure why he's walking all funny like that. This guy is actually crazy. But it does look like neither of the other cards are useful here. Only the light blue one actually opens something up. Now our next secret is hidden right up here. Just jumping on top of this server will take us to this very weird room with nothing in it. I think there's a secret passage right here as well. Whoa! This actually exists. We've right below the garage's floor. There's also a security camera watching 
hitting us from this corner. Ain't this bizarre? I'm really interested in who is the owner of this before us now. And if we look in the house's security cameras, we'll see them all. The garage, the main room, even the elevator shaft, and the empty room we are in. You can even see me right here. If you've played Brookhaven, you probably have thought about turning giant inside the game. So relax as in today's video, I'm gonna try a bunch of crazy ways to get really big inside of Brookhaven. You probably already know that if you try to change your avatar size, you can only go up to one. Don't matter how many times you click it, you can't go beyond that. But I've heard of a way to make that happen for us to try. Over at the Roblox Marketplace, if we look in the character category, you'll be able to find tons of models to use. Like a chicken, SpongeBob's reporter fish, and even a cute little kitty cat. But what we're looking for is one that changes us enough to make us huge. Does this one work? Well, I don't think it does what we want. It makes us look like a literal stick with legs. What about this guy? Okay, we do look a lot bigger with this one. If we compare it to another player, you can clearly see we got a bit taller. By the way, if we spawn in a car and get right into it, our vehicle is gonna have some trouble since we're big enough to make a side of it heavier. Maybe we got a tad bigger, but still not what we're looking for. Let's go into the avatar editor and look for big in the accessories. Apparently, there's actually tons of items here for us. Like this gigantic backpack right here. Just compare it to this car. This thing is really damn big. And still that didn't make us bigger at all. So now we're going into the avatar editor scale feature where we can change our body type. In theory, if we get all these sliders to the end of this line, our character is gonna look a lot bigger. We just need to refresh it right quick. Wait, did literally nothing change? For our next method, we're gonna have to get into this game called Catalog Avatar Creator. This game is basically so we can create skins inside of Roblox, just like me with Super Nando right now. Now if we go into popular and then search for big, we'll be finding some avatars that are really damn large, like this lizard slash crocodile looking thing we have here. And comparing it to a player will show just how big it is. Now look at this gorilla. He's basically double the size of a regular Roblox player. Guess we'll be buying some items right now. And done! We're back inside of Brookhaven, so let's just refresh our avatar right quick. Dude! Look at that! I've never seen such a big character inside this game. Look at me next to another player. Guys, we're so much bigger than him. This has to be the biggest skin in all of Brookhaven. Hello! Is anyone there? I just want to meet some neighbors. Wait, what just happened? Did the game kick me out or something? Did you guys see that message? I think the game actually kicked me out of it because of my character. Just log back in. Let's see if that message shows up again. And there it is. Guess we were right. You were kicked from this experience. Avatar does not meet Brookhaven requirements. That's so crazy. It's like we practically had a banned avatar inside of Brookhaven. So we're literally kicked out of the game if we use it. It's all right though. We weren't banned or anything still. For the next method we have to work with, we're gonna go to the avatar editor and search for big head. With a prompt like that, we'll find heads like these. Just look at the size of this thing. Just look at comparison. We're already a lot taller than them now. That's not the only one as well. There's tons of other types of these heads for us to use. Like this light bulb looking one. It's so funny. Damn! This one's actually so scary looking. So if we go back to our gorilla avatar and then look for those big heads from before. Putting one of these on will make us be a lot taller than we already were. Sadly, it doesn't last long as Brookhaven really hates our little monkey fella. I actually found a way to keep some parts of it without getting kicked, even if we had to turn a bit smaller. What do you think the other players will think about this character of ours? I'm adopting at house 24. Let's see where that is then. Right here. And they're not kidding. It's written yes I adopt there. Would they be interested in a big fella like me? I'm probably so much bigger than them as well. I'm not sure yet. So let's just ring the doorbell and see. Hello. Could you please adopt me? I really want to be adopted. Of course. Dude. They actually adopted me. I can't believe it. Can't believe he's thinking this is super normal. Even when he's on top of the couch, he's still smaller than me. Do you want to eat something? Yes. Banana, please. I really hope he has some of those for me. I'm really hungry. Seems like he's opening the fridge. So it's the moment of truth. And he actually got me one. That's awesome. Thank you so much, dude. Such a nice guy. Adopts me and gets me 
some really nice food. Thank you. You're really humble. I really thought you wouldn't be so nice. You're welcome, but why wouldn't I be nice to you? Probably because I'm a big gorilla? I'm not sure if there's tons of people adopting big boys like me around. Let's go visit some other people, like this place right here. I think it looks really pretty. Why is everything so dark in here, though? Whoa! She banned me? Why did she even do that? I didn't do anything. Boys and girls, come to this house a party night? Would they let a gorilla into their party? I'm not sure, but we can for sure try to see about that. Let's hope we're not banned. She did let me in, so I guess it's all right. Wait, really? Banned again, I suppose. Guess they really don't want to see gorillas going around in parties. According to this video, there's this game called Brookhaven by You're a Giant. They're saying it's incredible and that we should totally play it. If that one actually works, I'll for sure be really damn happy. I only found one that looks kind of like it. It's called Giant City Life. And by the images they have, we probably are able to become giants inside of Brookhaven. I logged into it and just look at how big I am. We started out huge. We're already taller than the fountain. If we want to try the helicopter out, we don't even need to get into it since we can't even fit in it anymore. But we can just jump to the roof fairly quickly instead. Does the helicopter even work? Whoa! It actually does. It's totally functional. We can fly around every part of this city. Now, wait a minute. Who's over there? He's so much bigger than me. Like 10 hundred times the size of this whole helicopter. Let me leave this thing over here because I really want to get as huge as that guy over there. I do have a few items like this bazooka. Are we able to eliminate that big guy? There my shot goes. But is that gonna even tickle the guy? It did get to him, but maybe he's just indestructible? That wasn't enough. So I guess it's time to become bigger than him. We have some nice candies, but those don't really do anything. There's also this egg phone. I've never heard of anything like this. There's also this jetpack for us to fly around. Ain't this cool? Maybe with this we can get close to this guy. What's up, giant dude? Are you doing good? Here we are right beside him, but we can't really do much here. Let's go back to town. Whoa! What's going on? I'm really not sure, but we do have two potions to drink. A green one and a bright blue one. And if we try that last one out, we're gonna actually start getting even bigger. We're double the size now. Guess we can keep going. Look at that! We're already so much bigger than the buildings in town. This is crazy! Let's get just a bit more. Good gosh! The player below is literally like ants to me now. It's time to get really damn big now. We're almost as big as this tree over here. So let's get much larger than it is now. Ain't that cool? We're so much bigger. Even my jump is way larger. I take such a long time to go back down as well. Now, what would happen if I drank the green potion? Looks like the green potion actually shrinks us back up. And that's not what we want. We want to get as big as possible. Guys, I literally jumped after that and I can't even see the city anymore. I think I even got eliminated. This game is so much fun though. Any player can get as big as possible until they can't even be in the map anymore. That one was really nice. But we still need to try a few more methods. Now we'll be trying this. We'll need a chubby little character model for us. It's just my regular character, but I put a little bit of chub. This doesn't have anything to do with turning into a giant in Brookhaven. I just thought it would be a nice little addition if anyone wants an avatar like this. To do that, we need to buy both of these avatars. Then we need to equip both these legs and then this torso. Now your arms can just be the regular Roblox one. With all those together, we'll now have a character like this. Just a big ball. All fun. I really like it. I'm thinking if anyone would want to adopt a cute little kid like this one. Fat and fake Mando. You're right. I'm totally fake. Someone seems to be living here at the apartments. Would she want to adopt a nice kid like me? She did open the door up. This seems promising. Please adopt me. Will she actually want to adopt a little guy like me? Yeah. We did it. We found someone that's nice to us. She even gave me permission to go to her home. I can start the fireplace or even use her computer if I want. I guess she really really adopted me into her heart. Found another place to try and get adopted. Sadly, no one's even showing up at the front door. So I'm just gonna get in anyway. There's really no one here. Whoa! Now there's not even a house. In today's video, I created a Brookhaven that's completely underwater. And I added boats, sharks, and even some secret treasure chests. In this video, the girl is playing in a completely different Brookhaven map where the town is flooded in water. It's fully underwater. Not even the salon could be saved in here. She even goes there to do her hair and everything, as if everything is normal and she's not swimming around. Would that actually be possible to do inside of Brookhaven? To try that out, I'm going into my own private Brookhaven server, since we got these options right here, giving us access to a whole panel of private server controls. We can literally make it be night if we want. We can turn the sky 
made literally green and scary. Or we can make it orange and beautiful just like this. Beyond all of those, we can even make it rain. As we click it, a storm will begin and it'll start pouring out. But the storm won't just flood our whole map. Now would something happen if we just make the city rain for a while? After a while, would the water start piling up? But after a few days in game of waiting for it. No, nope, there's not even a sign of flooding. We waited all this time for nothing. Mm -hmm. That's why we gotta try this other flood option. Let me get that going. So now what? Wait, it started raining right now. Is it the same as before? Whoa, it's not. The city is literally flooded. I think this should be the pool. Well, the water is pretty clean. It's probably dirty with all the dirt on the streets. Though it looks like some parts are too high up into the water. And even with that, we can't get anything like that TikTok video. For that, we're gonna have to look for Brookhaven Flood. Then find amongst these the actual one that has an underwater Brookhaven. Like this game that's called Content Deleted. What did they do to get it deleted off of Roblox? I don't know about that, but we were actually able to go into it. It looks like a regular Brookhaven, even though it has this mirror tower here. In front of it, the town is normal, but it's actually sincerely flooded and everything is underwater. Let's go right into this thing then. Look at that. We are literally swimming around spawn. There's even boats. Why don't we have a look at the police station? I want to go over to the vent system and get to that secret item. And dude, it's actually here. This is such a weird view. I wouldn't ever see this place fully flooded. It's so familiar, but so new at the same time. Over this way, we actually have these boats. And we can actually pilot it around the map. Come over to my boat. I can give you a ride. And she went the opposite way. It's the first time that I see Brookhaven filled with water like that. This is way beyond our reality. The only sad part is that most things don't actually work. You can't have houses, can't spawn vehicles at all. Beyond that, the map is also an older version of the game. So what we could do is create our very own Brookhaven, an updated version with tons more things. Something both playable and fun to go around. That's why we're now in Roblox Studio with Brookhaven's map. With it, we can delete anything that we want, like the trees, the helicopter, Brookhaven's own arches, or even the fountain if we want to. Let's just get all that back, because we'll now be adding water into this game. We're gonna add it to everything surrounding this white square. So we gotta make it fill up every part of the world. It'll make this terrain look brand new. And we want the whole city to be submerged. Now we just need to choose the height the water will be. And done! We just need to add the water. Just look at that! The whole town of Brookhaven is underwater now. We basically extended Lake Madison to every part of town instead. Just logged into it. I'm not sure why I'm swimming backwards though. Okay, I think I got the hang of this. Just on top of the police station. Just look at all that. We can already see the whole town filled with water. We just need to add a few more things. Like adding cars, boats, and even some sharks maybe. Let's start with some boats. Like this red boy right here. There's also this guy that looks pretty speedy. In Lake Madison we have the yacht. But sadly it isn't really functional. So why don't we get an actual working one? We want to go all around the map with it. Since everything is underwater we still need some homes. But some floater ones. Like this one with tons of pillars to support it underwater. This also looks like a fisherman's house. Just by these guys right up front they have. Ain't that cool? And in places not flooded we'll get other kinds of boats. These actually have wheels. This one I think it's actually exactly like the Spongebob one. I even found a boat that's actually just a sports car. Ain't that cool? We're for sure gonna have a bunch of these car slash boats around our map. I was thinking, since we have all this water, why don't we have stuff like pirates all around? Even some treasure maps would be so fun to have. I gotta spread some treasure around the map, like this chest right here at the grocery store. One inside of Brooks Diner. Inside the police station seems like a nice one as well. And to finish it off, we can get a pretty big one here at the hospital. Now on the land, we gotta get some pirates, since they'll be our main villains. With all this, see, these guys are gonna conquer a lot. I'll even get their flag over there to show that it's theirs. For a little bit of silliness, we can get Painty the pirate from Spongebob. He's gonna make everything feel ready. It would be awesome to have Bob's own underwater pineapple as well, just so players can visit our boy. Of course, we'll need Patrick's and Squidward's ones as well. And over at the neighborhood side, I'll get the classic bikini bottom homes. It's gonna look nice. 
I think our map is already looking great, full of new buildings and everything in between. There's still something missing, like fish, maybe sharks of some kind. So let's go at a few swimming buddies like this big boy here. I think this one even swims around the map. They'll probably chase players around though, so you gotta be careful. Why don't I get this watermelon shark in here too? It's so weird! And just a bunch of other shark species. It's gonna look so good! Can't forget to grab some little dudes, just so they can hang around. I'll even get a lobster and this cute little squid. We now have an ocean full of fish as well as some awesome things above ground as well. So I think we can already say that our Brookhaven is ready to be played. I just logged into our very own underwater Brookhaven. There's something weird going on. This shark is flying around. What's it doing? It's zooming all over. This guy is crazy. Some subs even got into the game as well. There's still more to come. And if you guys want to play games with me or just show up on the channel from time to time, go follow my Roblox profile. It's at NandoYT. Just click the three little dots and then the follow button and you'll be able to do just that. Our watermelon shark is also over here. What's this guy doing? Look at how weird it swims. But apparently it is harmless. We even got jellyfish around here. This is so cool. Happily they do not sting us. That's reassuring. There's also another shark over at the pool. Is he a friend like the others? Wait! What happened to my hair? Did you just eat my hair? Give it back right now. Whoa! I didn't know the diving board was working. And now that thing eliminates me. That's as bad sharky. Let me get into the paddy wagon. If you have never seen this one, it's actually from the first Spongebob movie. It was just an addition that I knew would be great for our map. Sadly, it is really slippery to drive this thing. Maybe because it's tires or pickles. That would make a lot of sense. Now, where are the pirates we got over here? Whoa! He's actually eliminating one of the subs. Run, dude! Don't let him get you. Don't do this to me. Leave me alone. SpongeBob, hide me inside your house. This guy wants to end me. Guess SpongeBob's house is just for show. It's just hollow. Level one pirate. Please just let me go. Let me grab this boat car then. Come on into it, sub. We gotta run from these guys. All right, we're finally a little safe. Let's just drive away. This actually works. Not only above water, but under it as well. We just gotta be careful. There's sharks that shoot out lasers in here. There's Bob's house and a bit more stuff. And tons of fish all around the map. It's a bit hard to pilot these underwater. It ends up going so slow. Here's the other neighborhood with the bikini bottom style houses. I really like it. There's another one of our boat drivers. Enjoy your ride around Brookhaven. Wait, what happens if we try to grab that treasure chest? Here we are. Does it actually do anything to us? Apparently not. It just eliminated me. But anyways, guys, if you want to go play this map, you're going to have to follow my Roblox profile at NandoYT. Just click the three little buttons and then the follow button and you'll know whenever I'm doing these. Now go a bit down and you'll find the official Nando fan group. Go become a member there because here you'll find a bunch of my maps I've made inside of Roblox. In today's video, I played Brookhaven and Barry Avenue for 24 hours. And if you've never heard about Barry Avenue, it's another RP game kind of like Brookhaven. So please watch it until the end and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Good morning! I just woke up and it's 4 a.m. here in Brookhaven. Let me just brush my teeth right quick. We don't want to walk around with bad breath. Taking a bath is very important as well. I'll even grab a little banana for me to eat. It's really delicious. Wait, what's going on over at my neighbor's? Are they having a party or something? I do want to know what's happening, but I need to change. All right, this fan is gonna work well. They're being kind of loud. I'm really interested in what's going on. Wait, who's this guy? What are you doing next to my house? Yeah, you better run. This is my neighbor's and it looks like they're having a white party. So I guess we need to be wearing white to get in. I think this looks good enough. Hey, can I join you guys in the party? Let's hope there's nothing beyond the colors to join. You can. Awesome. Just look at all these lights they have in here. They got a bunch of stuff in their backyard as well. They're even grilling some nice food. What would happen if I put the temperature all the way up though? Yes, I can't. But that's good since I don't want to start a fire in here. But why aren't they partying? They're just standing around. No one's even dancing. This party is boring. I'm gonna go do my own thing. Hey, Nando. You're late for school. Wait, what do you mean? Whoa! It's 11 a.m. already. We gotta go into our house quickly. Change and grab our backpack. I lost time with that party and I don't want to be late. Wait, who messed with my safe? I'll just block it so no one does anything to it. I really need this money for my future. That's 
good enough. Doesn't even look like there's anything there. I got changed. Got my backpack. We just need to run to make it to school. Since I'm already pretty late to it. Maybe with my skateboard it's gonna be easier to get there. Just got here. Let's get our student role. Our math teacher didn't get here yet so we got here in time. This teacher is always late. As I said, I thought I was gonna lose this class, but I guess not. There she is. She put something on the whiteboard. 20 minus 3 plus 6? How am I supposed to know that? There's so many numbers. I don't even know. That little girl answered 23. And she was right. I guess she knows more than me. It's time for our bacon friend to try it out. Let's see how he'll do with the new problem. So what's the answer? 42? Could that be it? Nope. Yeah. Bacon is kind of dumb. Dude! That's so rude. Don't be like that to him. I'm just gonna go away before they say something about me. I'm too bad at math for that. Just go home and wait. Hey, son. We're in need of money. Yeah. We need to pay the house's rent. It's all right, guys. I got some money on me to help with that. That isn't enough. We need even more money. Don't worry, Mom and Dad. I'm gonna do something about this. My idea is to go into a secret passage. This one right here. Because down here we'll find some items to help us out. All we need to do is stand here and click on this light. That'll let us go into this bunker. Which even has all of the cameras of the city on it. Kinda scary, right? What we're looking for is this C4. That'll help me get money for my family and... Wait a minute. Minute. Did someone steal my safe? It's alright. I'm still gonna get even more money from here on. First place I'm gonna rob is this bunker right here. The owner made it look really nice. Just look at these lights. Oh no! I think she banned me before I could do anything. I even fell off the map. That didn't even make sense. Wait, please help? Hey dude, are you in need of some money? Guess not. He's just taking a nap and not responding. Let's just keep going as we were. Maybe this house. But it looks like they locked it up though. Now if we grab a ladder as well as a sleeping bag. Just with the ladder we can jump into their lot fairly easily. Gotta jump up here. Then use the sleeping bag right there. We just need to be careful about the guy we saw at the window. But it looks like he went downstairs. So we're okay. That makes it a lot easier. We already got our first safe. Oh, hi there. I'm for sure not the person that just robbed your safe. Oh gosh! Yeah! Guess I deserve that! At least we got a bunch of money already to help my family out with the rent! Let me just go back home! Hey dad! Here's the money you said you needed! Thanks son! Looks like it went well in the end! And since it's getting dark we gotta get some sleep now! Hey guys! Now I'm logged into Barry Avenue! This is a game that works pretty much like Brookhaven! We can even teleport to housing plots even if these houses look a lot different from it! Let me try to get into this house without anyone noticing me! I'm not sure if they have a banning feature or not. Looks like there's some people talking over there. Can I just go into it? Yes, they locked it. Then I asked if they could adopt me. Why are you so different? What are they talking about? Is it my head? They literally just went away. Yes, they didn't care much. Why don't we get ourselves a house then? Just look at how many places we can choose from. It's a modern home, so it must be really nice. We got some lamps, a nice little book to read. Not really though, since it's fully blank. Dude! They even have TV with actual animations. We we have the weather channel, the cooking channel. There's a bunch of things for us to watch. That's so cool. This place is very nice. There's tons of rooms. They even have a screen for us to be able to cook some recipes in. I'm really liking it, but I still miss having a safe with my money. I've looked around the house and didn't find anything like that. That took some points off for me. But why don't we look at the vehicles now? Like this guy. Doesn't it look really cool? It's literally free as well. I don't even need a game pass to have some nice cars. Get out of my way. Come Coming through. We can even change its color if we want. This is actually awesome. Apparently they got an airport in town recently. I've seen gas stations and even schools. But where will that airport be? This town is for sure full of places. And I think that seems to be what we're looking for. Could this airport be better than the one in Brookhaven? I'm not sure yet. But here we are. Dude! It's so damn big! Whoa! They have automatic doors! We can even make our check-in. But it seems like we can only go to Paris. But we did get a ticket for us to go there. So let go into our items and grab my passport. And of course my traveling bag. Here's the metal detector. No problem there. This airport actually looks so real. They even have the gates for you to get into the planes. And to go into it we need to have our boarding ticket on hand. Here we go. We're actually gonna fly. I can't believe this works. I'm already on the plane. Let's just choose one of these.
these seats. Even the bathroom is modeled here. This is actually so cool. Even if we need to pay 600 Robux for first class travel. I'm alright. I'm never paying that. This plane is pretty nice. But how do I get out of here? I didn't find any. So I'll just reset my character. Let's walk around town. It looks like we have a hair salon here. They do have that in Brookhaven. And you can actually change your hair there. Looks like we can sit around on each of these chairs and all. But apparently there's no feature for us to change our hair. That sucks. Here we have a nice little bakery. And even this clothing store. Let me try to get one of these clothes. Wait, do I need to pay for it? Do we actually need to buy the clothes in this game? What about this one? Also five Robux. I can't believe all of these need Robux. No, no, no. I'm for sure never gonna go into that place again. Coffee house? This seems like a cool place. They have some donuts. That's really tasty. We can even grab some uniforms to work here. That makes it easy for some RP. I really like it. They even let me use the coffee machines. Another thing I wanna see is the school in this town. Just look at the size of this place. It's so big. It's just like American schools. Wait, do they even have a uniform? Yeah, look at that. Here seems to be the lunchroom. Then we have lockers and even in some classrooms. This is the English class. The room is pretty nice looking. Over this way we have the grocery food market. And this one is for sure 10 times as big as the one in Brookhaven. We can actually grab these items. Like the vegetables, the fruits, and everything. They even have their own bakery here. Now if you want to get some work done they do have their uniform to use as well. So we can do some cashier work. What's that thing crawling on the floor? Dude! It's just a little baby. Even the babies are more realistic here. Inside their avatar editor, you actually just change your age. Here I am as a little baby. Ain't I a little cutie? Look at me. This game is crazy. I look just like a little kid. It's really nice to see all this. So if you liked the video, leave a like and go subscribe to the channel for even more stuff like this. Go comment down below what you guys think of Barry Avenue. This is my first time playing so I don't know much. Watch some of the videos on screen as well. I know it's gonna be right up your alley. Thank you so much for watching and have a good one.